Hey everybody and welcome to another tutorial from It's The Basics. In this tutorial we're going to go through how you do a bit of online shopping and in this case we're using Tesco. So I'm not going to go through how you set up an account because it's pretty much the exact same as we've done in all the other videos. All you need to do is put in your name, email, password, phone number and your house address. Just make sure you enter in your phone number and your house address correctly because if they're actually going to be delivering you stuff you're going to want to have all that information spot on. So we're here on the home page and we're going to go through how you set up a basic delivery. So there's not much on the home page. You can go, if you don't know how to do it, there's step by step instructions, information on club cards, you have your special offers and other hints and tips they give you. But we're just going to go up here and start searching for stuff. So you can either do it by this top navigation bar where you can go search through everything specifically. If you like if you like shopping this is probably gonna be fun for you. You can go through all the different kind of stuff you can buy online, help, beauty, frozen food, bakery, fresh food, home entertainment. You can go through stuff that's half price, the reduced stuff. You can go on to the special offers tab, have a look through there, see what they want to offer you. If you have stuff that you've added to your favourites, you can just go on there and um all your usual stuff that you buy will be in there. We'll go through and add stuff to your favourites in a second. But we're just gonna go back here to the home page. Sign back in. So we're gonna search for so we're just searching for bread. So just type in bread. If you don't want to search it through the actual navigation tab. So as you can see there's gonna be a lot of results. Yeah, so we have nine hundred and twenty seven results for bread. So if you wanna scroll through all the different sort of stuff they offer you, you can just go down there, loads of different stuff. We're just going to add the first one though, just to show you how to do it. So if you want to add, say, one, just click the add button. If you want to add two, just press the plus or minus button. So plus or minus whatever you want to get. So say you want to, do, we're just going to get one for a second. So just click the add button. As you can see, it'll go green and it'll say one in basket. So if you go here, this is where your basket is. So as you can see, we have one uh, pan of bread added to our basket. It's 187. It'll tell you how much the total price is up here. So so far we spend 187. So we go back up here to our search bar and we'll just type in milk. Again, you'll get a good few results for milk. We're just gonna add in our first one here. So say we want two liters of three liter milk. So we're gonna add that there. There was a re problem requesting the data. So we'll just try that again. Yeah, so it worked that time. So we've added two liters of two cartons of milk there to our basket. So you can see there, the price for that is four ninety. The price for the bread was one eighty seven. It'll give you the total up here. So if you're trying to keep track of what you're spending, just keep having to check back into the total. So we'll just go in here and have a search for potatoes, very Irish. So again, loads of different kinds of potatoes. We're just going to add the first one that we see. So I got all our loads of potatoes. So add them to the basket. Again, you'll see all the different stuff that you wanted has been added to your basket here and it'll give you the total up in the corner. So we're not gonna add too much stuff. We're just using this for an example. So you can just keep going, you can go through all this sort of stuff, find what you'd like. So we'll search for one more thing. So we're going up here, we're gonna look for some chicken. So search away. So you can also click into the actual tabs. So if you want more information on these, say chicken fillets, you can tell what, uh, say what offer they're in. You go down here and you can actually get the nutritional value, which is very important. So if you know what you're looking at here, you can see how much protein and carbs and sugar and that kind of stuff is in it. So you can make your suggestions based on, maybe you want to go for a healthier option or maybe you don't mind at all. It's up to you. It'll give you cooking instructions as well, so it's also very helpful that way. So if you don't know how to cook something, or say you're searching for something sort of harder to understand, like a spice or that kind of stuff, it'll give you suggestions on what to add it with and that kind of thing. So they're very good with giving you suggestions on how to make the stuff and the nutritional value of everything you want to buy. So if you are looking for more information on a product and you don't just want to add it to your basket, just click into it and have a look at what it says. 
So next up we're going to decide on a time when we want to get it delivered. So if you see a tab here that says delivery slot, add delivery slot or change delivery slot, you're just going to have to click into that and you get brought down here. So this is pretty much wherever you want to add a delivery. So say you're going to, you know for a fact you're going to be home at, on Saturday between 9 and 11. Click on there, it'll reserve you a slot. If it's not possible to book a slot, see it'll be grayed out here. So tomorrow between f 3 and 4, you're not going to be able to book a slot. But if you're booking in advance, you should be well good to go. So I think they do charge more for again at the weekend compared to during the week. So it's pretty much whenever it's handier for you to be there. Or if you want to go by price, then I think afternoon, early on in the week is probably the uh, the cheapest time. There's also another option you can do apart from getting it delivered to your home. You can actually switch to collection. I think the only collection is in Clare Hall at the minute, in Ireland anyway. We have Clare Hall, Extra and Minute. So if you want to pick and collect, you can actually book it to pick it up at the actual shop. There's a... I think I've seen a video in here somewhere. I can't actually find a video, but there was a video on one of these pages where it brought you through to pick and collect. So basically, you order your stuff like you were doing there, and instead of them delivering it to you, they'll have it in, say, Clare Hall or Minute ready for you to pick up. You do the same thing. You book a... You book a time slot and you pay a bit extra for it but it's also convenient as well if you don't have the time or you do have the time to go to the shop but you don't want to hang around too long once you get there so that's pretty much all we're going to do so you just got to pick a delivery slot you got to choose what items you want to um what you want to buy and once you have all that done you just got to go to the checkout if you actually have a club card you can have the option of adding things to, things to your favorites so if you're going on in the future you can just go to your favorites if you order the same stuff the same similar stuff over and over again it'll make uh, doing this whole process a lot quicker i don't have a club card to show you but if i did all you'd have to do is add it to your favorites so once you have everything done you just got to click on this checkout button here it'll probably take a second or two for it to process so book in a time or a collection and then just check out and then get back to this page here so it's just again it's a an overview of what we've done so far so again it's just confirming your phone number your address when you want to have it delivered and then you can actually leave instructions say um if your house was in somewhere an area that was hard to find or you were in an apartment or there was a gay code or something to get in just leave the instructions here so the delivery fella knows what to do so once you put in all that information just click on the checkout button it's down here so again it'll take a second or two to process it and you'll get brought into our payment screen so I won't actually go through the full payments thing because I don't want to actually process this order but I'll uh, show you what you have to put in so proceed to payments Again, it'll take a second or two. So once you get to the next page, you're just going to have to put in your credit card details. So you're going to need to have a credit card or some sort of prepaid card to do this. So you choose whatever card you need to use. Put in the card number, the card name, your expiration date, the year, the security code. Make sure all your house details are correct. It'll tell you up here how much you have to pay so you're paying 17.32 so it's 10 euro for the groceries and then it was i think seven euro for the time we picked but it depends depend on whatever time you pick the price of the delivery so ours is seven euro so all together it comes to 17 euro so you can add in your um, club card points that kind of stuff down here if you have one i don't have one otherwise i show you so when you get all that done all you're gonna have to do is hit the confirm order button when it's confirmed i gotta send you out a confirmation email telling you that your order has been processed if you don't get a confirmation email it means something went wrong and you'll have to contact them but you should just get sent an email and um, it'll have all the information on like when they're going to be there and what time they're going to show up at what your what was in your order like what you ordered bread milk and that kind of stuff so once you've done all that that's pretty much all you have to do you can just go to sign out 
and your um, order will be sent out to you for whenever you um, you wanted to have it ordered. So we just log out and we go back to our home screen here. So that's pretty much all you have to do for the Tesco online shopping. It's not too hard. It'll just take a while to go through all the different stuff they offer. And just make sure you put in all your information correctly because that's pretty much the most important thing so they actually deliver it to the right place. So that's all for this tutorial and we'll uh, see you in the next one. So for now, goodbye.